Hello everyone, welcome to my July balcony tour. I have a small city balcony in Cologne in Germany. I'm going to show you all my plants, I'm going to show you how they've been progressing since June, which is the last video I did. I'll link it up above if you're interested in having a look at it and how the plants have progressed. Let's get started. So let's go into the balcony. This is it, my haven. I love it. It's 3.5 meters by 2 meters. I've got a nice planter full of goodies, which I'll show you in a minute. This is the left side of the balcony where I store all my pots and tools. Also our little folding table and chairs. That's the left side. That is the big plant that I painted. I'll link the video above how I did that. The floor. And then the right side. They have some shelves. I uh, built them and they're perfect for growing lots of different plants in it. And up there are the roof shelves. These are the roof shelves. They are a new addition this year and they have just been absolutely amazing in creating a load more of space. So let's start with the tomatoes in the planter because I cannot tell you how these plants have literally just exploded in the last month, five weeks. These are tomatoes that I've grown from seed. They're the variety Romello, so they're perfect for balcony gardens. They're determinate, they're a bush variety, so they're only gonna reach a certain size. They're much more compact. They don't grow like a vine, although they are, they do tend to flop if you don't uh, stake them early enough, which is what I didn't do. And that's why I've got a sort of bit of a jungle thing going on. But it's all working out fine. The next biggest change in the balcony has been this aubergine plant. So I had the aubergine on the right hand side and it was receiving a lot of sun but not enough overall coverage. So it wasn't really growing and any flowers that it was putting out weren't turning to fruit. And I have just seen this plant again in the last five weeks has absolutely gone nuts with growth. I recently did a video how you can hand pollinate your aubergine flowers and that's going to really really uh, raise the number of aubergines that you're getting from a plant. These are some peppers that I grew from seed. I was actually cooking one day and I saw the pepper seeds and I thought, oh, I'm just gonna sow them all. And so many of them germinated and they're actually producing fruit already. This pepper here in the planter is actually one that I bought and it's a yellow pepper. And if you can see that little black blob there, it, that is a stink bug nymph. And last year my pepper plant was absolutely demolished by these nymphs, the stink bug nymphs. So I thought, not this year. So I've been keeping an eye out. And this little plant here, which is actually the seedling of a calendula, I noticed that it's got, it had all these eggs underneath one of the leaves, so I've removed that. So hopefully that's going to stop um, the next flush of babies coming to eat all my beautiful peppers. Here's my rocket. This is the third batch of rocket in my balcony and I've been growing it in this hanging basket and they've been doing it absolutely wonderfully. This is the first batch of chard that I sowed. Actually in the previous video they were much, there was much more of them and they were much more bushy and stuff. But I've noticed that they kept growing back so I've just keep snipping off little bits here and there. Um, they just keep growing back so <laughs> don't need to sow anymore. To the basil! Love it. So those two there I sowed from seed. They're growing happily in their pots. And if you have the wherewithal to grow basil from seed, I would so recommend doing that because the quality of the plants and the taste are just so much better. We've actually got store-bought basil as well that we planted into pots. They're also good, but there's, you can't compare to seed grown, I think, from homegrown stuff. This is my nasturtium that I'm growing in pots. They grow happily in pots. This is a dwarf variety. I'm not sure which one, unfortunately. But as you can see, it's seen better days. So I've actually since chopped almost all of it back and I'm gonna see if it grows back or not. On to more tomatoes. Can you believe I've got more tomatoes on the go? I've got three other tomatoes on the go and they are the variety Vilma. They're also determinant. I've done some videos on how to grow tomatoes from seed and these are the three that I've been using in the video. So if you're interested in that, check them out. I'll link them above. Mint, this is mint that I bought in a store and I've rooted it in water, potted it up and it's just gone absolutely nuts. I've got it in a small planter. It's just romping away. My coriander, it's seen better days as well. I've got them in two different size pots because coriander does have deep roots. And I wanted to see if they would grow better in a, in a deeper pot and they actually have, they're much taller and better. 
Up on the roof shelves, I've got my Thai basil and my lemon basil. Most of them have gone to seed, but I'm gonna do a video on why I think that's okay. Keep an eye out for that. These are some new meadow flowers I've sown. Uh, I love to do my bit for the pollinators as much as I can, and also it makes the bark line look so beautiful. This planter is normally full of lettuce. Uh, as you can see, it's not full of lettuce right now. The poor little seedlings got absolutely battered by the insane heat that we had and then also storms, so only two of them survived. You can see one there and then one at the back. These are my runner beans. I've got three different varieties in there. Lady Dye, Necker Gold, and the other one I've forgotten. But you can see that they're kind of finished. They're, oh, I've got some there. Not, not looking their best though. I think it's time for over. These are the chives that I sewed into these tiny pots so I could hang them up. They're doing well, still still growing, still eating them in my salads. And I like to brighten up the balcony with some flowers. So these geraniums are absolutely superb. They can handle almost anything you throw at them and they just constantly flower. You see them a lot in the Mediterranean countries. Also this Diplodenia is like, bring it on pal, I can handle anything, I'm gonna flower and these beautiful purple petunias that I have in pots were doing fine up until a few weeks ago when again they just got absolutely scorched but you can see that some of them are still flowering and that was the balcony tour hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions or advice please leave a comment down below I'll see you in the next video have a good one goodbye goodbye This is my mint that I brought from a market. I then rooted it in water and I've potted it up into this soil and it's actually in a planter.